Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Kindle by John Renault in the color FS27. So let's get started. Kindle is a mid-length, wavy style. It is basically all one length. I noticed there's a little bit of layering, I feel like, right around the front, but otherwise, it's all one length. This is a very easy, effortless, natural looking style. Let's talk about the cap. The cap on Kindle is a lace front, mono top. It has felt covered ear tabs, felt covered extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and then otherwise it is the machine sewn wefts. So if you're new to wigs, the mono top means that you have parting options. You can part it in the middle or you can part it to one side or the other side. It's the great thing about a mono top and it always gives you that illusion of scalp. I don't have a wig grip on. This cap fits me very comfortably. I have a 22 and a half inch head. I don't have to wear a wig grip with this. So mono tops are really nice for that reason. You've got parting options and you can just work with it naturally throughout the day. As you're going about, you don't have to think about it. You can just toss it around or if you're, you know, <laughs> if for some reason you find yourself doing that <laughs> throughout the day, you don't have to worry about wefts showing or what that's gonna look like on top. Is there permatease popping out? It takes all those worries away. Let's talk about the measurements on Kindle. The front is 10.75 inches. It says the crown is 12 inches and the sides are 9.75. And then the nape is 5.75. So there is just the ever, it's, I, I don't even, I hesitate to even call it layering because this, this style isn't really layered, but there are some different links cut in. And I think that is to, help with the movement and the flow of the wig, the curls. It just kind of helps support the style. But I wouldn't want to give you the impression that this is a layered wavy style because it's not. It feels all one length. And this style weighs 3.5 ounces. So it's very light. Let's talk about the fibers and permatees. It feels like there's the just like ever so slightly, a little bit of fuzzy permatease, but it's not permatease. This is the permatease that's there to just kind of protect the wefts so that should the wind blow, you're not gonna see like tracks, but it's not permatease that is going to support volume or help you with any styling. And then it's a mono top, so no permatease on top. John Renault does a pretty good job of the amount of hair they tie into their mono top. So I always feel like I can get a little bit of lift in their uh, styles with the mono top. There's not even permatease back here, it doesn't feel like. Maybe just a little tiny bit like there is all over. But like I said, this is not a permatease wig. You don't feel it. It's not pillowy. It's just there to cover the wefts. The hair fibers on Kindle. Okay, when I first got it, they were a little bit shiny. But I hate to even use the word shiny. It was kind of just glossy. It didn't bother me. It might bother people that are sensitive to that. These hair fibers are very silky. They're light. Um, this is a very low density style. It feels very natural, kind of hugs your head. If you want any sort of volume, you're going to have to repeatedly mess with it or put product in it. And I didn't put any product in it. But the more I wore this style and just having my hands in it, it has dirtied up a little bit. <laughs> I don't feel like it's shiny. I feel like it looks healthy. See how fine those fibers are? Like, 
it could get a little stringy looking if you're like out on a windy day. I mean, there is not a lot of hair on this wig. I mean, it it is a very natural looking wig. It's so crazy to me when I think about getting Mila by John Renault. It was so much hair and I just thought this is how wigs are. This is this is the way it is and it was. There has really been a shift in bringing out these lower density wigs and i have to tell you for now i all i wear is wigs i love wigs because i want the volume but if you're just starting out wearing wigs wow the wig manufacturers have listened because they are coming out with more realistic density wigs so that when you're transitioning into wigs you're not so overwhelmed and this is one of those styles it is such a great first wig because you're not going to be overwhelmed. You have parting options, but it's open wefted. So it's not a hundred percent hand tied, which keeps the price point down. I just got to hand it to John Renault. Kendall is a great wig. The color I chose is FS 27, also known as strawberry syrup. So if you look up what FS means for John Renault, it's, fashion syrups, I believe, and it means that it's going to have chunky highlights. And especially when you first pull this out of the box, like you can really see the chunky, the highlights. Once you comb it out and you start playing with it, it all kind of blends together. But there are chunky highlights in this. I also did some comparisons when I first got this because 27MB is my favorite John Renault color. This style does not come in 27MB. I chose FS27. I was hesitant and I kind of stayed away from FS27 because I had my scarlet in FS27 and it was very brunette. I feel like when I first got this wig, I was like, I feel like they've changed the color and I put it up next to my Rachel and it looked almost identical. The more I have been wearing it out, I, I don't think it's identical to 27MB. I do think it's a little bit darker, not as red, but I'm very happy with it. There are several styles that John Renault has come out with and FS27 will be my only choice. They don't have 27MB and I think I'll be okay with that. It's a very pretty color. It's still that number 27. For whatever reason, it looks darker and I don't know why because it shouldn't, right? I mean, they're both, one's 27MB and one's FS27. I feel like besides the highlighting, it should be exactly the same. Wig colors are tough. My skin tone, my lighting, outside, inside, wherever you go, the wig looks different. And that might be why those two colors, I feel look a little bit different on me. I'm gonna put pictures up and I'm gonna show you the comparison and it's gonna look exactly the same. So, whatever. But just know, <laughs> I just know from wearing it, having it on me. I feel like this one is a little bit more brunette. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. Who knows? I want to do a quick comparison besides all the color stuff I was just talking about. This wig really reminds me of Raquel Welch's Simmer. Let's take a quick look at Simmer and then I'll tell you why I, these two remind me of each other. Okay, I've got Simmer on in Rusty Auburn. I mean, doesn't it look so similar? Okay, Simmer is Raquel Welch. It's also a mono top. It's also a wefted cap, but it's HD fiber. If you've had your eye on Simmer, but you're nervous about the fibers, Kindle is a great option as well. The hair fibers are totally different, but the overall style is very similar. I love Simmer. Simmer is a lot more hair. I mean, it still feels really light, but I mean, it's a Raquel Welch wig. Raquel Welch wigs just come with more hair on them. Okay, I'm gonna put Kindle back on. Oh my gosh, I just put Kindle on after having Simmer on, and oh my goodness, I mean, it just feels like nothing on your head. It is so light. I'm gonna turn around and just put these side by side so you can see the back together. So this is Simmer, and this is Kindle. I mean, they are so similar, right? And then here's the 27MB and the FS27. Let's 
So you can kind of see. Okay guys, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatease and the hair fibers. My overall thoughts for Kindle, I think this is a great style. It's light, it's casual, it's got just enough wave. I think it's a great length. It is, it's going to be so easy to take care of because these hair fibers aren't tangly hair fibers. I mean, it's so low density. There's just so many great things about Kindle. And I'm telling you, if you're a first time wig wearer, this is gonna be a great style because you are not going to be overwhelmed with it. That was my number one thing when I first started wearing wigs is I felt ridiculous in every wig that I put on because I just felt like I, you know, had this huge amount of hair on my head which I didn't, looks totally normal to everybody else, but that's just how I felt. This does not feel like that. This feels so natural, so light. It's so good. Okay guys, so this has been Kindle by John Renault in the color FS27. A special thank you to Name Brand Wigs for sending me this style and giving me the opportunity to review it on my channel. I encourage you to go out to Name Brand Wigs website, check out everything they have going on. Their website is a great resource for information. They almost always have a 30% off of certain styles. They'll run sales on John Renault as well. And I encourage you to go check them out. Okay, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I would love to know what you think about Kindle, and if you have it, tell us what you think, tell us more about it. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.